Sampler feedback is the saviour for the Series X, Series S, uh, question mark. What is this feature in DirectX, question mark. PlayStation has a better API than Microsoft. How is this possible, question mark. What is an API, <laughs> question mark. Hashtag console gamer. Uh, Alex. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, you that's, wanna, a, that's a lot, lot to peel, take in there. Yeah, uh, you want to peel back this one? Okay, so sampler feedback is the savior for the Series S. That is a quote from me from last week um, uh, where I jokingly said that. And the, <laughs> the, the, the reason why you could say that of sampler feedback streaming uh, for, the, uh, for the series consoles is because Series S has a limited RAM pool, 10 in total, 8. And how much is addressable for games, Rich? Eight? Um, it's a little bit over eight. Um, it's mm. it's undisclosed what the actual amount of memory is because Microsoft has given uh, megabytes back to the developer since the eight gigabyte revelation. Okay. Um, mm. Yeah, so there is a certain amount of memory above eight gigabytes, but I think it's in the hundreds of megabytes. It's not, you know. Yeah. Okay. So fast. it has a limited amount of total RAM and a big chunk of RAM usage in console games is for textures. Um, and the whole point is, how can you get a game to look and run good on Series S when the developer is making textures and assets and other decisions based upon the existence of PS5 and Xbox Series S? X, uh, specifically PS5. I think PS5 is the de facto machine that developers base everything almost around and the everything else, PC and everything else is like a little bit of like a, a side consideration. I really do think it is that way for a lot of people. But um, so how do you get that? And then Sampler Feedback was saying like, okay, developers are going to be streaming in textures anyway. They have uh, big, really fast SSDs in the new consoles. Uh, let's stream things in more smartly and instead of doing it like per like large grouping of chunks of MIPS, like what if you just did like a little tiny bit of it based upon like the last uh, uh, frame, I think. I think it's done based upon the last frame and it's like read by the CPU and then they know what to stream in for the current upcoming frames. And it's just like little tiny bits of chunks of textures and not like the whole texture. And the whole idea is based upon demos that Microsoft has had, uh, they showed off that on a Series S, you could like get the amount of total RAM, VRAM being used for textures mm -hmm. to be like heavily compressed and still have really high quality textures in the end. And there's a version of this that ships on PC, which is less um, like less exacting, I'll describe it as, just called sampler feedback without the streaming aspect of it. Um, but it has yet to be implemented in any game. And yes, PlayStation has a better API than Microsoft. How is this possible? What is an API? API in this case is just talking about like a default set of uh, software that uh, developers can use for their game to kind of plug and play and take advantages of take advantage of hardware features with, or just have like a general programming interface to which uh, is applicable to multiple devices, so they don't have issues of transporting code from one device to another device. DirectX is that way for uh, Microsoft on PC and console. And in this case, uh, people saying PlayStation has a better API than Microsoft is like it's like one of these questions of like. Most likely what PlayStation developers have access to is much more tailored specific just for the PS5 and almost nothing else. Whereas Microsoft as a larger company has more considerations. So DirectX has to cover the base of PC and Xbox. And the as a result, it's less specific towards Xbox hardware in some areas, which would, you know, yeah. But interestingly enough, sampler feedback streaming is one of the things that is makes um uh, DirectX, I guess, more potent in this area than whatever PlayStation has because it's a hardware feature exposed through an API and that the PlayStation doesn't actually have this hardware feature. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the basic fundamental um, conceit of sampler feedback streaming is that, you know, Microsoft basically uh, benchmarks 
texture handling on the Xbox One X, and they found that a lot of the data that's actually being streamed in never makes it to the screen. Yeah. So this was the solution they came up with uh, to basically mitigate. You know, it was essentially a way to you know increase um, throughput of assets from the storage to memory. Mm -hmm. You know, why actually bring in the data in the first place if it's not needed? And it is a bit of a shame that it hasn't been used, to our knowledge, in any game. But maybe going forward, it will be. I think we raised the point last week, Alex, that it might just happen on PlayStation 5 Pro as a feature of RDNA 2 that wasn't there the first time around. Right, right. So um, like VRS, as we said at the time. But yeah, hopefully that answers Kellen's uh, various questions there. Um I guess it's still wait and see as to what's going to happen with uh, shader feedback sampling, though. Mm -hmm. Nice to see. Mm -hmm. 